Welcome back to Grand Blank Mitsubishi. We're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. And what we're looking at here is an SE package. So this is going to be the second from the top as far as trim level goes for Mitsubishi on the 2019 Eclipse Cross. Things to take a look at that are unique to the SE package is getting into some of the technology entry level, uh, I don't really want to say entry level, but it's taking it to the next level of uh, communicating with the vehicle from your phone to be able to do remote start, having emergency uh, assistance as well with the SOS um, option on this vehicle that's going to be standard in that SE package. So I want to go through some of those things. We're going to start on the exterior of the vehicle, go through, through some styling cues that are going to be on the 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross in the SE package. So let's just get into the front of the vehicle first. Just take a look at some of the options and equipment that you're going to see with, a, with the SE package here. So. Coming up from the LE package, the LE is going to have a full black grille up here in the front. You're going to have a chrome trim with a stainless color on the top of it, or that silver. They're going, to, they're going to call that like a starlight silver in the Mitsubishi language. Down below here, you're going to have that silver carry through as well. And they do offer a front bumper garnish that can go over the front of this as well. What that color would be is a stainless steel. Now that will carry through underneath where the fog lamps are. Standard again with the fog lamps on the SE package. You've got your big triple diamond in the front. Talk about the engine, what's underneath the hood. You've got a 1.5 liter turbo 16 valve four cylinder engine. Gets up and goes, you've got over 180 pound foot of torque and over 150 horse. Now the torque is really what you want to pay attention to when you talk about get up and go and being able to propel the vehicle forward very quickly. The nice thing that's going to accompany a CVT transmission, that continuous variable transmission also has a Sportronic shifting operation as well. So. I used it this morning on the way here, and literally it shifts like a six speed, seven speed automatic transmission. You can really feel that as you're accelerating through. You're gonna take a look at your LED lights coming through here as well, so the daytime running lamp, that's gonna be automatic as soon as you turn the vehicle on. You're then gonna have a uh, high intensity discharge headlamp that you're gonna see for your high and low beams, and the fog lights that are gonna be down below, along with turn signals there as well. I love the front end of the vehicle. You gotta admit, it is very edgy, very, up to speed, very contemporary in my opinion. You take your own opinion on it, but this one actually really surprised me today. And I really like the SE package because you're gonna get the cloth interior, but you also get your heated seat. You get your remote start application from your Mitsubishi Connect on your phone, right? So we'll get that paired up. You get very engaged with your vehicle and you know what's going on to unlock your doors, be able to track where the vehicle is with a geo fence as well. And you can even see if you're letting someone borrow the vehicle or drop it off to one of your children to drive the vehicle. You can literally put a location device on this vehicle to see where it's going and what rate of speed it's traveling at. Taking a look at the wheels, you have a black inlay on the wheel and an outside high polished aluminum finish on this. Now this is gonna be the same wheel you're gonna find in the next level up, which is gonna be the SEL. And you're gonna be wrapped with a Bridgestone. Now this is an 18 inch wheel. That's gonna be standard on the LE and on the SE and on the SEL. 18 inch, looks good on the vehicle for sure. Take a look at your LED lights that are built into your mirror, but that's not the only thing that's built into the mirror. When you upgrade to this SE package, you're going to have your blind spot awareness system. So you're going to have that bliss system along with cross traffic alert. So you're going to get one of the, uh, you're going to get an audible sound. If you have someone that's pulling behind you or coming across, and this happened yesterday when I went to lunch with my mom, here comes one right behind us and she goes, I'm so used to having that. I don't know what to do when I don't have that in my vehicle. So you actually get very accompanied to some of these additional safety features that Mitsubishi is offering on the 2019 Eclipse Cross. Other things to pay attention to if you take a look at the door handle here, we've got a proximity key or an intelligent key access. So simply clicking the button with your thumb will lock or unlock the vehicle for you to be able to enter in. Now what I like here too is, typically you don't get this raised or elevated rail system here unless you're in the SEL with a, um, with a touring package. So to be able to have this rack system that's offered as Mitsubishi standard equipment and accessories, when you have these rails, you're gonna have this additional rail that runs up top, blended in very nicely with the black color. Now that's an arrow bar, so it's more of a teardrop shape that, that helps out with the wind resistance and the noise that typically comes from crossbars on a roof rack system. Beautiful. Down below, they're gonna carry some of that silver trim that you saw up on the front grill, and it ties in the wheels really well. You've got a belt line here, a chrome belt line that actually wraps the entire window as well with a tinted back window and a large back window here. So your blind spots that you typically see on many SUVs offering a very small window here, you can't see out of that. You can see out of this and I really enjoy that on my way to work today. Little things like this I definitely want to point out because it's not something you see in every single vehicle. 
Take a look at how your visibility is from the back of the vehicle as well. Beautiful, because you got this LED light that's gonna run all the way across where your split rear window is. So you have a window back here, you have a window up top, and they hit a little windshield washer, uh, fluid and windshield uh, wiper as well up top here. So that's nice, I used that on the way because it was also raining today on the way to work. So uh, down below here you're gonna see Super all-wheel control. We'll touch on that in just a few minutes when we get into the cockpit of the vehicle. You see it clips cross along the back here. You'll see the badging for SE, the chrome trim here as well, and you're gonna release your lift gate directly underneath the Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi symbol. So when we lift that up, back behind uh, that lift gate is gonna be the, two, the split seats, okay? So you have a bench back here that's gonna be a 40-60 split seat. Now we've got a tonneau cover on the back of this as well, which is adjustable. So you can take that in, you can take that out. Up underneath the back of the vehicle too, take a, take a look at where your full size spare is. Now full size spare is because this is an all wheel control. So with super all wheel control, it's gonna be standard on our limited edition, on our, on our SE package and our SEL. Can only get it with all wheel drive for the 2019 model year for the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Jack and roadside assistance equipment is there. And let me mention something, roadside assistance, Five years unlimited mileage is what's gonna happen when you purchase a brand new Mitsubishi on any of our lineup. So that's a nice option to have, knowing that you can travel unlimited miles for a five year duration and know that Mitsubishi is gonna cover things like towing and uh, key lockout, fuel delivery if you run out of fuel, pull you out of a ditch. They'll be able to do all kinds of concierge services that are gonna come with Mitsubishi. So all you do is simply pick up the phone and call them. What I also like too is the little things that they pay attention to detail on. Down below here in the back, if you take a look in between where you have the silver applique, up in here it's gonna give you that carbon fiber woven look into the, the, the back portion of this bumper as well. So if you look at that, they're gonna carry that into the interior of the vehicle as well. So just paying attention to these little things really make a difference. Standard backup camera on the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross as well. If we come over here to this side, you're gonna see where the fuel door is. And people have been asking, can you just make it simple on some of the smaller options? So where your left foot is when you drive in the driver's position, we have a release for that fuel door. So that simply pops open. You don't have to worry about locking gas caps and all these additional accessories just to keep your vehicle safe. Well, it's as simple as just shutting that and we're good to go. Up top, you've got the shark fin antenna style too, which is, I, I think, just a way to tighten the whole vehicle up, especially with the dynamic lines that the Eclipse Cross has put in. So if we take a look from this side, I'm gonna open the door and get to the other side of the vehicle so you can see a couple of the functions of the back seat. You're gonna have a armrest that's <clears throat> a matching armrest on this vehicle as well. So if you take a look here, we've got two cup holders inside. You also have a power outlet down at the bottom of the console of this vehicle for the rear passengers. Now these headrests do, they raise and lower. You're able to tilt the seat as well so you can see how that function works along with just simply folding the seat down to a flat position. You can also fold the 60% portion as well. Size wise, I'm gonna hop in so you can see about the size of the, the vehicle. Now this seat is all the way back. I'm five foot eight. It fits comfortably four to five adults. It's a five passenger, but you're gonna fit four adults or two couples very comfortably inside of here too. Side curtain airbags are gonna be on the vehicle as well. And I do like the contrast stitching. So it really, it's a good pattern on the inside of the vehicle too. So you take a look at what some of the, uh, the interior options are. I'm gonna shut the lights off, so that's quiet. Leather wrapped steering wheel, leather wrapped, sh wrapped shift knob as well. You got a cross cut pattern into the, uh, into the seating as well with white stitching carrying through. Now you've got the stainless steel accents all the way through, some chrome accents on the inside to tie the outside to the, to the inside and really match everything up well. Other things to take a look at is gonna be your heads up display that you're gonna see up here. Um, you have a second display that can come on the SEL package that will literally tumble forward and show where your miles per hour are if your cruise is set. You can hide that or you can have that displayed. It's not something where it automatically does its thing. You can select it manually to open or to close. You got automatic temperature control in here. You are heated seats up front as well. And our super all-wheel control button here, which we're gonna go through some of these options on how those work on the screen, on your heads-up display. This is LCD. It's also LCD in front of the, uh, the, the controls that you're gonna see for your speedometer, your tachometer, so you're paying attention to what's going on inside of your vehicle, and again, engaged. <clears throat> we have electric emergency brake here. You also have a mouse pad that's gonna be in the LE and above. 
to be able to control your screen up here uh, in multiple ways because you can do it by voice, you can do it by this touch screen, this is also a touch screen and, and you can control it on the steering wheel as well. So very redundant controls to figure out what works best for you. Now, I brought my iPhone cord too so we're going to be able to play with our Android Auto and our Apple CarPlay that's going to be standard on the LE and above. Now when we go into the SE you're going to have up here a couple things to pay attention to. So if this drops down, you have your SOS, uh, a button that you're going to be able to hit, very similar to what you're going to be seeing with OnStar, some of the technology that Mitsubishi, when they were with GM on the Saturn projects, things that are taken away by both manufacturers. So let's take a look at a couple things on the dash and, uh, and the entertainment system on the vehicle too. So you get a little bit more understanding of how that works. Yeah, if you don't mind, just so we can... I want, to, I want to be able to show some of the details on the vehicle too because there's a lot of questions that get asked. If you're more familiar with it, it just makes it much easier for all of us to be able to explain and so you're a little bit more engaged. So <clears throat> Apple CarPlay, people are, have asked how hard is it to really operate Apple CarPlay? Here's how hard it is. Here's my phone. All you do is you take your cord, plug it into your phone and watch the magic happen. Simple as this, you hit your agree button up here on your touch screen and it'll flip right over to my, uh, to my phone. So if we go to, uh, we can go to Pandora for an example. Get up here. Go to my stations. This is what I was listening to on the way in to get pumped up was, was down here on, uh, on uh, my, my, my Motley crew. <laughs> I had to have it. So take a step to the wild side, right? But you can go through over here and pick and select different songs, different stations that you have. You can shuffle your radio. We can go over here to maps as well. So now you're, you're actually using your iPhone here. So it's not something where you're going through and you're not paying the 950 or the thousand dollar navigation function. Why would you when you're already paying your phone bill? It doesn't make any sense. This makes sense because it's, hey, if I upgrade my phone, I've just upgraded my navigation again when iPhone comes out with their next, uh, their next device that I pick up. Very easy to do there. You can go through and you can see your calls, you can see your recent calls, just like using your iPhone. So here's the nice thing. When you get a new vehicle, you always have that uneasy feeling of going, I've got to retrain myself to understand and operate an entirely different system, especially if you're switching manufacturers. You don't have to now, because you're already used to your device, you're already used to your phone, very easy to do. So other things I want to touch on besides dual climate control that we can understand here very easily, our fan speeds, our AC, and which modes we want to use of how we're going to direct the airflow on the person here it'll show. Well, let's talk about some other things. This down below, what does this function do here? Now, I've got this, this screen. Now, if you press down, I don't know if you can see that around, but when I press down, I'm actually selecting options, okay? So that's the same as touching with your finger up above on your touch screen. Now, if you slide over, we're sliding between, and if you wanna look at the, the touch screen up here, this is sliding my, my finger left to right on the quadrant system that they have down here it starts to become very easy. If it's not picking up for your finger for some reason, you can always hit a back button or you can hit your home button as well. Now, if you want to use your iPhone and your CarPlay, this is how you're going to operate it. If you want to switch back over to using Mitsubishi's version of it, we can just hit that Mitsubishi button. Now we're back to using the home system for Mitsubishi. Again, we can just slide our finger over and it's going to indicate with a soft sound. I want to see if you can hear that real quick. It's going to indicate with a soft sound how you can control this. So if you want your Sirius XM instead of your Pandora, just hit your Mitsubishi button, get back over to Sirius, and there you go. You're right back at it. If we want to flip back over to CarPlay, let's just go to the left. We're going to press the button to be able to get back into your CarPlay. Now here we are again, back over to your Pandora, and we can come back here. Simply press your, mo your mouse pad, press the station that you want to be at, and turn it up. Two fingers, if you take two fingers and slide the radio up, that's going to turn it up or it's going to turn it down. So that's simple as that on that, uh, on that operation of this touchscreen. Now this is the 7 inch LCD display that's coming with the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto that's going to be offered in the LE, SE and SEL options. Didn't want to talk about this. Down below is the super all wheel control. People ask how does that work exactly? Well it's a three stage uh, button that you simply can press the button. It's going to offer snow, gravel, or auto mode on this. Other way to accompany that is our economy button that's up here as well. So if you want to use and the optimum efficiency of the vehicles 
fuel consumption, simply press your eco mode. And what that'll do is optimize your fuel economy. On this vehicle specifically, 26 miles to the gallon is what it's rated at for the all wheel control system with a 1.5 turbo. But I've had customers send me text messages of north of 32 to 34 miles to the gallon when properly using your cruise control and doing that at a rate of 55 to 65 miles per hour. Is that achievable? Absolutely, and we can prove it with a couple different customers that I have here that have been experiencing phenomenal fuel economy, which, which Mitsubishi is known for. Now, I know that we've mentioned the carbon fiber on the outside of the vehicle, how that weave looks, but if you take a look at that on the interior, that's gonna be on the door sills. That'll also be up and around the, the heads up display. So that'll be just tying in everything. Now you've got your stainless steel, you've got your chrome, you've got your gloss black, that's tied in all the way around on the vehicle along with the steering wheel. So we just wanted to point out some of the interior features of how to use some of this equipment. And please do me a favor, if there's something that you want specifically notated on our next video, put that in our comments so we can say, this is how that function works. If you've read on something and you want to have an explanation of it, man, just send us a quick little uh, you know, comment down at the bottom. We will respond to that. And we'll make sure that you get that in a video. We want to pop the hood being the last thing that we do typically to, to get the vehicle done so you can see what the 1.5 liter 16 valve turbo engine that Mitsubishi's put in their 2019 Eclipse Cross. Let's take a look at it. So underneath <coughs> on this vehicle, not only do you have the vehicle, but the, the engine with a 1.5 liter, you've got the turbo, you're going to see a couple of the piping going back to where the turbine is, you know, for your, uh, the, the cooling system of that turbo, but you also have these bars. The braces that you're going to see on this is going to be keeping the vehicle significantly tighter, especially with your speed controlled power steering system that's on this. This left to right movement that you typically get or that sway in a vehicle, very much tightened up when it's tied back to the firewall and your two strut towers. Underneath here, you're going to have your ram air, your, um, ram air or where your forced air is coming in. Underneath here is where you're going to find that 1.5 liter. Very clean, very tight, very easy access, especially with some of the technicians that we have with Mitsubishi. They love working on the vehicle because there's so much room underneath to be able to work on the vehicle very quickly and get it back on the road for whatever issue you may have. I'm Paul Zagman. We're here at Grand Blank Mitsubishi. Taking a look at the 2019 Eclipse Cross, please like or comment, subscribe to some of the newer vehicles that are coming out. We'll present to you next when the 2020 and 21 comes out. If you like it, subscribe or throw a, throw a comment down there. Let's get you any answers that you'd like to have. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out at, at GrandBlankMitsubishi.com. That's G-R-A-N-D-B-L-A-N-C Mitsubishi.com. Or you can check us out by Give it, pick it up the phone. It's 810-579-2030. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, pick up the phone, give us a call. We'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SE.